Intel is facing a difficult start of the new year. It seems that all the Intel processor lines of the last decade have a security issue. And with me is Jan Guldentops from Better Access in Belgium, and he can explain the details. Jan, what is the problem with the Intel processors? Well, Intel got called out on a fundamental problem in their processors, um, which basically allows um, a, a piece of software to read out uh, certain parts of the memory of a computer system. In layman's terms, we, we tend to split up our security by creating zones. Mm -hmm. So we have different zones um, in which we put processes, in which we put people, in which we put users, in which we put networks that are separated from each other. And by that separation, we, we create security. Now, we do the same thing in memory. So you have two processes who all use their own piece of the memory of your system. But if one process is able to read the memory of another process, that means the whole security model breaks down. For instance, you, you have active content in your browser, right? Which you download from the internet, which you don't trust. Normally you put it in a sandbox, a closed environment, right? Mm -hmm. But with this bug, that sandbox can read other parts of your system's memory parts in which, for instance, uh, a password can be, or your credit card number, or that uh, a photograph you don't want the whole world to see. Now, this is, this is not new, I think. I believe that, you know, the Intel processor lines the last 10 years all had this same bug. Is that true? Well, that's true, and, and, it, and the problem is more fundamental. Um, comparable uh, bugs, right, which use the same concept but which works different, like uh, with, with very cool names like Meltdown and Spectre. Okay. <laughs> uh, do the same thing on ARM environments, right? ARM, you know, your iPad, yeah. uh, your phone, right? Do the same on AMD, the big competitors' environment. Yeah. So they all have the same problem. Yeah. And it's 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 quite important to fix this, right? Yeah. Why? Because our whole security model is tearing down. And it's not only your PC or your phone or your iPad, it's also uh, the cloud. It's also virtualization, right? The cloud is basically your software running on somebody else's hardware, on somebody mm -hmm. else's server. That server has the same problem. So one cloud user can abuse these kind of bugs to read out the memory of another cloud user. We're talking about a serious uh, issue here. So what are the consequences? There will be solutions, but what are the consequences of these solutions? Who's picking up, you know, who's picking up the bill for this? Well, one of the aspects we didn't talk about is the reason why they don't create the separ separation, right? That why they don't split up uh, is performance. Every time you want to check something, it costs performance. So basically, now we're delivering patches, right? We're changing the software, so we, we have these borders now. Yeah. Problem with that is that that all eats performance. Right? Okay. And we're talking about five, depending on who you believe and which test you are running and what you're doing, between five and thirty percent, right? Okay. Imagine your PC being one third slower from tomorrow after running a patch. Are you going to be happy? Why? Why is this now in the news? You know, it has been around for ten years. A lot of people knew this basically because this is the architecture of the Intel processors, the shared memory model. And why is it in the news now? The, 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 one of the main reasons, in my opinion, is because uh, Intel knows this for more for two three months probably, right? Yeah. And the Intel CEO um, last month sold all the shares he could sell. Right? Okay, that we're, talk, um, we're talking about. We're talking about Brian Kranich. He's been doing. Yeah. He's been dumping all his shares, and uh, that is suspicious, of course. <laughs> so you know, it's a big thing, right? Um, yeah. Uh, that, that, that's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons the general press uh, picked it up. Yeah. What's going to happen is we're going to patch this. We're going to solve this. Yeah. It's going to cost a lot of work. It's going to. There's a lot of systems going to be hacked by this. Yeah. But in the end, we'll fix it. 
it will be solved, there can be a solution, but it will cost you something. So the memory will, um, the performance of your yep. system will slow down. Um, and you know, you're paying a sort of a price for that. And the only one not paying a price for this is Brian Kranich because he's sold all the shares after you he heard this. So, well, he is well, he's going to pay a price probably because this is insider trading, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it would not surprise me he ends up in jail for it. <laughs> one of the things we see, we see it being solved. Uh, Microsoft is patching his cloud, yeah. Azure is being rebooted. Amazon is patching his cloud. Google is patching his cloud. By the way, Google brought up most of these books with their research team. Okay. So life will go on. Um, yeah. and, 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 and that's, that, that's, that's what it's about. I mean, security is a permanent process. Okay. Right. Yeah. We have this illusion, um, that once we did all the work, we're secure for the rest of our lives. That's not the case. We're going to be, we, we're going to have to work on it permanently. Okay. And that's very difficult. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Jan, for your comment on the uh, Intel uh, security issue. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you next time for EE News Report. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.